fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. By the summit for once, Ike. No trouble for road agents today. I hope you're right. Sure, I'm right. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on, Charlie. Andy. Oh, drop your gun. Behave yourselves and nobody will get hurt. All right, you two climb down and make it lively. Come on, dude, hurry it up. You sure flashed those jewelry samples to the wrong party. I know them voices. It's the same pair that stopped us last week. Shut up, you. Play it smart, boys, and don't let them hands stray. Plenty of baggage today, huh? Carrying a nice, heavy strong box, too, maybe. You're not making off with the whole outfit again. We're sure fixing to, mister. You better tell that boss of yours that the only way he can hang on to this outfit is to keep it off the road. It's an outrage. We're miles from nowhere. My passenger will suffer. Your passenger can sit down and wait for the northbound. It ought to be along in a couple of hours. All set? All set. Hey! You thieving coyotes! You can't get away with this. We'll catch up with you someday. You wait and see. Hey, fellas, had enough to drink? We'd better push on if we want to reach Gunsight by nightfall. Mm, scout him ready to travel, too. It's been a long time since we've been out this way, Tunnel. This is rich country, destined for a big development once law and order are restored. Stagecoach robberies must be reason Sheriff sent for help. It couldn't be anything else. That's all we've heard since we crossed the county line. Eagle Pass straight ahead, Kimisami. Gunsight about two hours' ride now. Remember the road divides about six miles east of town. We'll take the left fork that cuts past the Sheriff's office. Let's go. These outrages have got to stop, Sheriff. And if you can't do it, I say let's appeal to the military at Fort Hughes. But I... I've already done that, Harper. They say they can't spare the men. But rest assured, if something isn't done soon, I'll have to give up the stage line. And then this community will really suffer. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, am I glad to see you. Come on in. Thank you, Sheriff. It's good to see you again. Gentlemen, this is the man I was telling you about. Uh, this is Mr. Conway, who operates our stage line. How's Mr. Conway? Mr. Harper here is the owner of our leading store. How do you do, sir? Delighted to meet you and have you with us. You should be proud of your reputation. Yes, indeed. The Sheriff's been most extravagant in his praise. Said that if anybody could lick this problem, you could. I hope to, with the Sheriff's cooperation. We worked well together before. Well, you probably guessed why I sent for you. It's because of the raids on Conway's stage and freight line. This whole thing is completely out of hand. It seems like a calculated plan to force me out of business. They not only rob my coaches, but they take them away and destroy them. Well, last week they made off with a load of my merchandise. I can't depend on shipments anymore. Gentlemen, in Sereno City last week, I learned on good authority that the railroad will soon be extended to gun sight and connect up with the stagecoach line. Well, that means this whole community is destined for a big boom. Obviously, somebody has been tipped off that the transportation business is going to prosper. So they've been trying to put Mr. Conway out of business for their own purposes. Maybe that's it. Well, I can't hold out much longer. They're stealing my horses and destroying my stages quicker than I can replace them. Now, apparently, these fellows operate from uh, a secret hideout. They get tips on the stage schedules, move in, do the job, and disappear. I'd give six months' pay to find out where they go. Sheriff Tonto and I will do all we can. Suppose you tell me where you've been searching so we won't lose any time or effort. I can show you on the map. I can't thank you enough for coming here to help us out. No thanks necessary, Mr. Conway. Tonto and I want to see law and order restored to gunsight. I'll leave you with the sheriff then. Goodbye. Goodbye, gentlemen. Good luck to you. Good day. Uh, usually the outlaws wear masks, but on the last job, one of them posed as a passenger. A Cherokee Smith works with a thug by the name of Matt Rusk. Yes, I know the pair. So far, they've managed to keep one jump ahead of me. Now, this is Hickory Creek. We figured it out that the secret hideout is located somewhere along this stream. Mm-hmm, I see. Suppose we go at it this way, Sheriff. Tonto and I separate. 
come from the west and the east meet right here. Wheel is gone, door broke. Them rib seats and slash curtains. Out of. Pick clean. Trail of men and horses goes to stream. Me ride upstream, but could find no place where them leave water. I didn't see any signs downstream. Maybe we pick up trail on other bank, Kimisabi. We cross stream and look. Yes. They probably came out on rock where the prints don't show. But where them go? The ground could not open up and swallow them. Don't be too sure of that, Tonto. What do you mean? There are many abandoned mines in those foothills. Any one of them would make an excellent hideout. Suppose we do a little prospecting. Mine deserted like others, Kimisari. No new trails come here. No, Tana will look around anyway. Get back! No bandits are moving in here. Go away or I'll drill you. Hold it. We're on the side of the law. It happens we're looking for bandits. <laughs> you think I was born yesterday? Why are you wearing a mask if you're not up to mischief? Get going! We mean no harm, Mr. Crockett. We're searching the abandoned mines in this area. We're looking for the bandits who've been raiding the stage line. Well, this mine don't happen to be abandoned, because I'm working it. And I'm telling you there's no bandits here, so get! Sorry we troubled you. Never mind, John. Move along. I don't like strangers, especially ones that hide their faces. I'm a peaceful man, but I'll blast anybody who tries to cut into my claim. I'm giving you a fair warning, so don't let me catch you around here again. Snooping spies. I'll bet they don't come back here in a hurry. Nice going, Joe. Who were they? Never saw them before. An Indian and a man wearing a mask and riding a big white horse. Must be working for the sheriff. Then we'd better move. We stay put. They sure won't come in the front way no more. They'll never find we have that back door through that culvert near the river. Hey, that's right, Mac. They'll cross this mine off their list now and run themselves ragged rooting around one of the other ones. <laughs> Relax, I'll fix you some deed. Joe may be right, but I'll feel safer if you keep a lookout, Matt. All right. We can see the mine entrance from here, Tuttle. We'll keep an eye on it for a while. I mean, think a good idea, Kimasami. Crocodile, very strange. In bare teeth like animal guarding food. I have a notion he knows a lot more than he lets on. Suppose you ride back to Gunsight. Find out if the mine is really active. Stop by the assay office and see if he's left any ore deposits there lately. I may do that, Kimasami. We'll meet here at camp later. smoking them boulders up there. Looks like somebody's fixing a meal. It might be them fellas that was here before, still spying on us. You better go take a look, Joe. Rusk and me can't take chances on being seen. When you leave the tunnel, you can crawl back over the hill, sneak up on them from behind. And if it is them, let them have it and don't miss. I'll take care of it. Crockett. Thanks, Tunnel. Why'd you try to kill me? I warned you. A man's got a right to protect his own property. Mine all worked out, Kimisami. Him not take sample ore to assay office in years. How come, Crockett? The mine is no good anymore. Why are you so anxious to keep people away from it? Well, I could strike pay dirt any time, and nobody's cutting in. I'm sorry, Crockett, but I believe you're concerned about something inside that mine besides ore. We're going to find out what it is. What right you got to hold a law-abiding man prisoner? What authority you've got to trespass on private property? You have nothing to hide. You needn't be alarmed. 
Well, you fellas got me all wrong. I ain't hiding nothing or nobody. We'll soon find out. I get going. It's near time, I tell you. We'll see. Keep him covered, Tunnel. This is Joe's worry. Don't stick your neck out. Come on, we got things to do. No sign of anything up here. What did I tell you? You satisfied? Let's look below. all for you, Crockett, or have you been entertaining company? I eat hearty. Do you mind? I wonder why him used two cups, can you me? I don't know, Tonto. Maybe he needs one for each hand. Keep an eye on him. Look out! Kill him! Sorry, Kimmy, sir, man. He make a fool of me. All right, you snooping smart, Alex. Try and figure your way out of this one. What happened? I took care of him. Relax, it's the boss. Hello, Mr. Harper. Didn't expect you so early. We've got visitors. Visitors? Who? A white man who wears a mask and an Indian. What? It's all right, Mr. Harper. I got them trapped like rats in the lower level of the mine. Oh, good. But it isn't good enough. I don't want you to take any chances on those two getting out alive. Otherwise, we might be in serious trouble. What do you mean? I mean your guest is the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? You sure? Hastings sent for him to help solve the holdups. Now, you've got to get rid of him. We will, boss. Don't worry. With the Lone Ranger out of the way, the last ounce of fight will be taken out of Conway and he'll knuckle under for sure. Now, here's what I came to tell you. They're trying to outsmart us by putting up the departure time of the southbound stage from Gunsight. It's going to leave at 3 o'clock instead of 5, but I want you to stop it just the same. Sure, boss. The time don't make no difference to us. Now, one thing more. The Ranger warned Conway that nobody's above suspicion. Now, in order to forestall any question about myself, I'm going to ride that stage today, and you're going to rob me along with the other passengers. Do you understand? Sure, we get it. Leave it to us. All right. I've got to go now. I haven't much time. I'm depending on you. Finish off those two before you leave. You know that store of blasting powder you have left over from the good old days? Yeah. It's going to come in handy now. You mean you want to blow up the mine? Why not? It's no good to you no more. Can you think of a better way to get rid of them two? Safely? Well, it sounds good to me. It's perfect. And best of all, they'll never know what happened to them. They'll be buried under tons of hard rock. <laughs> this take long time, Jimmy Sammy. But me keep at it till we get lanterns to top. I'm convinced there's a secret way out of here. The way Crockett got out when he sneaked up on me. The way those two escaped when we interrupted their meal. If we can find a tunnel, we'll get out of here a lot faster and easier. Not even scratch, Kimmy, Sammy. Seemed like our friend come back. You can't finish your work in the shaft now. There's going to be no way out but that secret tunnel. Let's look around. This is a spot for it. It'll bring the whole shebang down on top of them. Well, hurry it up. It's a long way to Eagle Pass. We've got about three quarters of an hour to meet the stage. Who's that? Mad Rusk? Cherokee Smith? Show yourselves. You've got about two minutes to live, Long Ranger. We're gonna blast you to kingdom come. Do you hear that, masked man? You're supposed to be pretty slick. How are you gonna dig out from under tons of rock while we're holding up the stage? <laughs> ah, you really walked into something this time, masked man. 
And it's gonna cost you your fool neck. What's the matter, Lone Ranger? Got nothing to say? Here it goes, Lone Ranger. Adios. The lucky clover didn't turn out so lucky for the Lone Ranger. It's his tomb. Let's go. Them ride for Eagle Pass, Kimmy Sammy. We'll try to head the stage off before it gets there. Silver! But I'll give it on. Ha, Danny. Ha, Muffin. Ha! Wait, Ike. Their guns are holstered. Whoa, Muffin. One of them's wearing a mask. The other one's an Indian. That's the pair Mr. Conway was telling us about. Whoa! Oh, mind the mask. We're with you. I just want to warn you, there's trouble ahead. It is him. I told you. What kind of trouble, mister? Them bandits again? We just changed the schedule today. The bandits must have learned about it. They'll be waiting at Eagle Pass. What is it? Are we being held up? Oh, Mr. Harper, I didn't know you were aboard. I'm sorry if we alarmed you, ladies, but everything is all right. Mr. Harper will vouch for us. Oh, yes, yes, he's, he's a good friend. Uh, I confess, though, you did give us a start swooping down on the stage like this with that mask. Is there some kind of trouble? There could be, but my friend and I will try to prevent it. If you don't mind, we'll ride inside with you. Shut tunnel. All right, boys, take it away. All right, Ike, let her roll. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Well, they tried to kill you. We may be heading into an ambush. This is terrible. What? My daughter and I will be murdered. Well, I hardly think so, ma'am. Of course, I could ask the driver to stop and let you out here on the road. Put us out in the middle of nowhere to fall prey to wild animals. Don't you dare. We've paid our fare. We're going to the Shemingo. Very well, then. Do just exactly as I say, and nobody will get hurt. And the bandits try to surprise us. We'll have a little surprise for them, too. I can count on you, Mr. Harper? What? Huh? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Good. If things work out as I hope, we not only capture the outlaws, but we may get the scoundrel they're working for and put him out of circulation, too. Splendid. It's a shocking state of affairs. You know, uh, Conway changed the departure time of the southbound stage this morning. I, I wonder how the bandits found out so soon. The leak must be in some respected place that no one would ever suspect. Playing a smart boys. Keep your hands up and don't make no trouble. Everybody out. Knock on. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I told you, Paul Cats, we'd catch up with you. I'll take care of him, Tunnel. Help the boys with Ruskin Crockett. Keep him covered, Mr. Harper. Really, Mr. Harper, really, boss. Tunnel, go get him. Blast my buttons. So Harper's the brains of the outfit. Trying to outrun that Indian don't look like brains to me. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. 
should I give up? Can't you see I'm hurt? Come on, get over there. Turn right your turn now, please. boy. Good work, mister. Reckon the stage will travel in peace now, thanks to you. And thanks to you for evening the odds. I'm going to tell Mr. Conway how much you helped us. Ah, oh, shucks, wasn't nothing. Uh, uh, I mean, will you? Hey, Jeff, look at yonder. Well, blast uh, my buttons, uh, if that ain't service. Well, you better get used to it. Looks like this place is going to be your home for a long time to come. The merchandise recovered from Harper's Warehouse accounts for most of the stolen goods. A lot of my passengers are going to be happy when they hear about the money and valuables we found in the safe deposit box. I can't thank you enough, not only for myself, but the whole community. In my case, words aren't quite adequate. Forget it, sir. Tonto and I are glad it turned out this way. Bye, Mr. Conway. Goodbye. We have unfinished business in Sereno City. I think we'd better be going now. Well, in that case, I won't be keeping you. Goodbye. Good luck. If you need us, just let us know. Adios. Adios.